Right, so that's the start of day four. Uh, we're just starting to pack up. Uh, we've got about half a litre of water each, so that's a priority. Um, hopefully we'll hit a stream before we uh, get to settle. Settle's about six miles away, so two to three hours with breaks. It's uh, just gone half past five in the morning. Unfortunately, there was no sunrise, as you can see. We're uh, a little bit cloudy, but I'll take that over rain. Just uh, about reach settle, and we're going to uh, stock up here and uh, have something to eat. And then, uh, in the distance, that large mound with a flat top—that's Ingleborough. That's where we're heading. That's uh, the end of today. <laughs> So we're all pitched up on Ningleborough, uh, but we've got a good spot, nice views. Uh, today was a long day, 20 miles we did in the end. And uh, yes, I'm definitely tired. We walked for a good 10 hours. summit and uh, the start of day five which is a short day um, as you can see the clags moving in and out uh, when it clears we get an inversion and it seems to be across quite a lot of the dales it's the distance so the sun should be moving around 20 minutes and hopefully this will clear a little bit so So, this is the end of day five, and we're all pitched up at uh, a campsite called High Lanning in Dent. 
Um, we finished early today, so we thought we'd finish at 11, but we ended up finishing at one o'clock. Uh, got some lunch, got the tent sorted, and as you can see, I even got a lot of washing done. Um, tomorrow we're doing the Howgills, and um, we're doing a whale camp. Uh, we're going there. Uh, just got a couple of beers now, and then we're uh, off to the pub for some tea in a couple of hours. Uh, we bought a bottle of wine as well, so we're going to have that and just chill out tonight around the tents. Well, it's half past seven in the morning, and uh, we've just got up. Uh, we're going to start packing away, and then uh, head over to reception to pick up our breakfast, which we ordered. Um, pick that up at half past eight, and then uh, should be off for nine. So it should be a nice day and uh, a good wild camp for our last night. As this is the start of day six, and we uh, finish tomorrow. But it is an absolutely beautiful morning. And, uh, that's the direction we're heading in. All clagged out now, but by the time we get up there, it should have been off. So there we've got Sedbury right in front of us, a couple of miles away, and uh, there we have the Howgills and uh, where we're heading today and uh, camping. Uh, but we've just restocked, um, had some dinner and uh, now we're heading up there. It's around seven miles to the camp spot and it's about half past one so I think a good five hours, maybe a little bit more if we take it steady. Just gone six o'clock and uh, we're all pitched up on Westfell. Uh, it's quite a lot of climbing today in the Howe Gills. We did 11 miles in total today. Uh, right in front of us is the Pennines and uh, directly in front is Crossfell. And we've got about 12 miles tomorrow to uh, Appleby and Westmoreland so we're getting an early start up with the sun and we'll be getting there around 2 o'clock in the afternoon I think. This has uh, been a good shelter on the trip. Uh, Z-Pax Hexamid plus tarp the plus in it. Um, Lined equipment Enigma 20 Good quilt, warm. Thermarest, Neoware X light mat, nice and lightweight and uh, again very comfy. Uh, the Crooks Halo down pullover has been very good as well. It's kept me warm and uh, probably my favourite piece of equipment is I'm wearing. It's uh, my OMM rotor body warmer. It's uh, 35 grams, primal of gold. Gills. It's uh, half past four in the morning and it's the start of day seven and our final day. And 
and uh, as you can see we have clear skies so we'll definitely be getting a, a nice sunrise So we just got to Great Aspey, um, that means we've got about six miles to go before we hit Appleby and Westmoreland. Um, there's a the local goat, quite sure why it's there but there you go. Um, yeah it's a quaint little village and uh, we've just stopped and uh, I've eaten pretty much the last of my food, some peanuts and a Twix. And uh, we're heading that way now. As you can see, we have reached Appleby in Westmoreland. 90 miles done. Seven days. Uh, really enjoyed it. Been a great trip. 